Thank you for watching my demonstration with the Belicia Easy Press today and I hope you've enjoyed it and learnt some new technique you'd like to go and try yourself. If you'd like to get in touch with me directly, contact me at my blog at www.bwalkie.wordpress.com or you can contact Kazaz, the your nearest consultant at 1-800-649-191 or on the web www.kazaz.com. Thank you. Okay, I was just going to quickly show you how to make this um, recycled envelope. I've just used recycled wrapping paper. All we're going to do is get a piece of wrapping paper now and our envelope die. We're going to I'll fold it in half so it's now A4. Then we're going to put our cutting mat on top. It's meant to be a thick cutting mat, cutting mat D. It really doesn't need it, but look it goes. Half cut. Having the envelope die, it doesn't really cut perfect just there, so I have to neaten it up. But I think that could be my placement and where I put it, not the machine. So it's one of those ones I'll have to work with a bit more. Next step is our decorative envelope top. So I've got both of them there. So I'm doing two at once because it is wrapping paper and it is thin and these do dies are designed for thicker paper. So I'm just going to put that there. Cutting my D on again. And there it goes. Pieces of, I'm just going to do one, of, one now just to show you what I'm doing. From here we just got all these little bits. You could just sit there and pop them out if you want. I'm just going to show you how to stick it together. And fold. Open and fold. Bit of glue stick. super quick envelopes to go in your stash for next year's Christmas cards. You can just stick a Christmas label on it and it's off, done, ready to go. Hi, my name is Belinda and I'm an independent consultant with Gazette. Today I would like to show you the Felicia Easy Press. This is it. And it's got a cool little carry handle so you can pick it up and carry it. It's got a little compartment at the top so you can put your little dies in there. Or you can put your die cuts which you've already cut out and don't need right then and there but you can use later. Or you can put your handle in there for workshops. And the way handle is nice and easy to just put on and just run it up, slide it in. Where did it go? It's got a lever at the front here. That's in the unlock position. And I just wipe it, my handle on the bottom just to make sure there's no dust on the bottom of the suction cap. And turn it and it's not going anywhere. It's also got two trays. Mine front and back, takes A4. And it's got directions at the front. So it's nice and easy to use. It's easy to wind. If there's any flaws, just double check your stack. Easy press. These are the mats. We have our base mat A, which is the base of all our um, stacks. Our foam mat, which we use for our metal plate embossing. Our B embossing plate. Our C cutting mat for our standard paper. Our D cutting mat for super thick paper. Um, it cuts up to 400 GSM. And our X brand, cutting other brand dies. 
This mat is good for cutting, using the machine with cattle bugs or Sizzix dyes or even the new Craft Concept Universal dye. The machine does not take the, um, the Sizzix original, the big chunky ones, or the big shop ones, which also have big chunky plastic. It just doesn't fit in there. Uh, it's not calibrated the same as the big shot. Big shots are designed just to take the big shot dies. Um, when you get your die, you will notice that it's got writing at the front here. And that's just to tell you how to use your die. It'll tell the number, tell you the name of the die, and then how to use it. So now I've given you a brief one through of the Let's go and have a play.